Hey everyone, welcome back to Fusioneers. I'm Joseph, and today we're going to be talking about how to move around in Fusion. So hopefully this is helpful for you if you've never used CAD before. Just go ahead and open up the Fusioneers logo file if you don't have it open already. Uh, if you don't have the file, it's available for free on the Getting Started or Intro module in Fusioneers, which is a school community. The link is down below if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're on Fusioneers, uh, you're in the right spot. So this is really just to show you how to move around in Fusion. Uh, I hope that you all have invested in a mouse of some type. It makes everything much easier, but I'll show you how to do this with a trackpad first, uh, just to make sure that everyone's able to participate. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this out. This just closes this side panel. So now we have the file opened and we'll just go through the different uh, kind of shortcuts down here. And then, we'll, then I'll also show you how to do it with the mouse. So let's just go ahead and start with constrained orbit. So click on that. And this allows you just to orbit around the part. So I want you to just click and hold and you can see how you see the little orbit sign. And then that's uh, moving around. You can spin, uh, do a lot of different things with with that. This is mainly for people with a trackpad. So you're not really going to use this if you have a mouse, but just wanted to go through it. Look at is another useful feature. So say we want to just look at this surface. We just click on look at and then click on that. It orients us to look directly at this circular base. Uh, to get back home, which is a really useful thing to know is to click the home button up here. And this is kind of the home view is this angular view. And then you can also navigate around by clicking on the this uh, cube, this navigation cube. So you can play around with that and it gives you different kind of default or standard views. The next uh, navigation method is panning. So if we click on that, this just allows us to move uh, up and down, left and right, kind of pan around the part. And then obviously zoom, as you might expect, if you click and pull up and down on your mouse or, or on your trackpad. Uh, you can zoom in and out and then fit uh, as you might expect. If you click fit here, it will fit whatever you select uh, into the view. So say we're way out, zoomed way out for whatever reason, click fit and then it'll zoom in. I don't really use that one that much, but it is there if you need it. Another thing I want to mention is sometimes for whatever reason, maybe you get just lost in the file. Like I've just zoomed way out and I can't see, you know, where I am in space. Just come up here and click the home button. And that kind of brings you back to where you can see everything like you should. All right. So now, you know, kind of how to use all of these different buttons. We're going to do the same thing, but with our mouse and keyboard. So the first uh, operation or movement type is orbit. And uh, the way that we do that is we click and hold shift and then we click down on our scroll wheel and now you just move your mouse around. So this is the same thing as orbit. You can see down here how the orbit button is uh, highlighted there. So again, I'm holding shift and then holding down on my cursor uh, scroll wheel and activating the orbit. Then the next uh, movement is just pan. So if you if you don't hold shift, so take your finger off a of shift and then press down on your scroll wheel. Now we're panning left and right, okay? And then the look at, that's still something that you have to click here to look at, but uh, that's really not something that you really use a whole lot uh, typically. And then zooming is just moving your scroll wheel in and out. So fairly straightforward. There's really just three main things to do is orbit, which again is hold down shift and then press down on your scroll wheel and then you orbit around. Pan, which is just pressing down on your scroll wheel. And then a zoom, which is just scrolling with your scroll wheel. And then you always have this home button to kind of go back home. So that's really the main things that I wanted to show you all how to do. In the next video, we're going to do some appearances where we change uh, how this looks. So hopefully that'll be interesting to you. So 
See you in the next one.